Well, I'm gonna you can see this. Well, so some could argue and say that's pretty crap. Um, I'd probably just mention back that all the resistors are on the correct pads. The solder is only on those pads, not spread across other pads, apart from one pad I actually got onto a video off. Um, and so, you know, it may not be as aesthetically pleasing, but this is my second attempt at doing some SMD work, and I'm learning a little bit as I go along. Like today, I'm using a tray rather than knocking them all over the place and losing them. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about one last resistor that's in there. I don't want to throw it away. I don't want it just hanging about in there. I'm going to have to pull out another empty drawer, so I've got four empty drawers down the bottom. And I could tip that into there and put that back, but say hey, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put that over there. <laughs> and I'll have to order myself some sort of little, little tray. But without the ones where the slots just rattle about all over the place, because I can see how quickly things will get messed up in there with loose resistors. Or I'll get one of those and then go around it with silicon or something to glue it all in, or hot snot, whatever. Um, probably hot snot either. Oh, I don't know. But so, we've now got the uh, 104, which is uh, 100 nanofarads. No, it's not. It's a. Uh, 100,000, yeah, so it's 100 nanofarads. Um, and capacitors, and. Um, oh, yeah, I didn't know what these were. These is uh, 20 picofarads, it's got to be because it, it doesn't look like 20 picofarads. I mean, that I can't work out with any sort of stretch of my imagination if that actually gives sort of indication of 20 picofarads even if you hold it the other way around it's but because it's the only ones left out the ones that I can tell what they are and then there's that left I'm going to say that that's what that is all these little transistors to put on and a whole bunch of 10 k's yay on, a few of the greens, it's actually upside down, um, we got that side nearly nearly finished, just got to put the speaker in and a capacitor and the USB connection, uh, we've got a solder here, a front display which is yet to go in, and then that's pretty much it. Uh, we've got the headers to put in, which will go here. Um, we'll either go there or on the back. Oh, I don't know where they actually go. I think they might go onto the back because where would be the point in putting them on the front if you can have the wires connecting to the back? That's what I would say. 
So Yeah, so far so good. Now I've sorted out the soldering iron as well. Um but I turned it off I gave it all about an hour break, so give it another short period of time it's probably start messing up in here, but it won't take me long to do these LEDs. So I'm gonna press on but I'm gonna speed up the uh yeah, just speed up the sequence. There's there's no point. I'm, I jibber jabber anyway and yeah you don't want to listen to that. So let's go. I love the smell of it. I mean, it smells just fresh and clean. There we go. Right, let's crack on, shall we? Okay, cool. Pardon me. <clears throat> Apart from putting um, the the chips on, that's it. Well, at least I've run out of parts. I've got a few spares. I've got a um, couple of green LEDs. I've got a red LED, two red LEDs. But as you can see, I've filled the LED. I've filled the LED holes. The Bluetooth I don't have, so I wonder if that's a, an add-on you can buy. I'm not sure what you do with the Bluetooth unless you can program it from your phone or something or computer. So I'm just going to give the inside of this battery thing a little bit of a clean because it looks like there's some grubbiness there. And then uh, I'll chuck these chips in. Chuck the chips in there and make sure you get these the right way around. <coughs> Push them nice and firmly. I like that all the uh, well, none of the legs are bent. That's nice. I'm just not quite in far enough. You watch this all but bending lots of them though. If I can just tilt all of them just slightly. A bit more. Uh, that might do it. Oh, that's going to be Tilt three. There we go. Let's hope that they. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Let's just get a bit of coffee and a bottle of alcohol here. And then we can't drink it. This is just an old tea towel. So rather than use, uh, so I'll have to go around all these joints as well and get the flux out. <sighs> Doesn't look too bad, does it? Now. <clears throat> I don't even want your power this up. VCC and ground, I think. So I'll have to do a little bit of a 
a little bit of a look on the destructions, which are nice because they're actually in English. I can't. Oh, I can show you. I can show you. You know what I've got up on the screen. Basically, uh, that's it. Oh, okay. So. Showing you how to put that on. So you make sure you put the USB correctly on the right side. What we need to know though is how you power it up. Oh, look, it's all in English, which is really, really nice. They did theirs all in one go. I didn't want to do that. I'm still not quite sure how you power it up though. Not even what the voltage is, so I'm hoping it's going to say. No. It must have been one of the other ones, so I've got other PDFs. Oh, come here. I'll just balance this on top of my torch. Uh, Alright, let's see, we got an operating instruction. Hello. Functions of operation. That's the one we want. A little bit bigger. Okay. Yep, lovely. How to power it up. Function settings. Yep, okay. But how do you power it up? And how much power do you give it? Uh, oh, it's got things that tell you about errors. Oh, that's it. It doesn't actually tell you where to put the power. And I presume you have to have power because of all those LEDs and a little 3 volt battery and all that's going on. Uh, assembly component, this schematic, so electronic, oh, maybe the schematic. I'll work it out from there, shall I? Let's get rid of that. Oh, is that going to be? Nope, we need that, do we? Uh, ground, okay, yeah. VCC, 9 volt. Pin five and grab them there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So why is that only showing five pins there? And it shows six pins there. Oh, that's on the mini USB. Okay. So the six pin, there it is. VCC 5 volt and ground. So, have I got to plug this in with the USB? Seriously? Oh dear. Place I can plug it in is over there. The USB. I'm not that well prepared here for that. Oh, that's uh, there's a USB. Well, that fit. Oh. Yeah. Uh, how about I? How about I? If I unplug that. Yeah, I know. That means I haven't got a. Uh, Still recording? Yeah, brilliant. Because I haven't got a uh, thing here right now. So I've got a USB cable right here. So let's, let's see what happens if I just plug it in USB. I'm not going to put the battery in because I found out with another clock it didn't work properly. Uh, and then when I put the battery in, when I took the battery out and tried it, uh, it did. Okay, what do we do? There we go. Right. Here's the USB boy here, so I'm just going to plug this in and ready for the sparks. Well, that just didn't work. I did nothing. Don't want to smell. Let's make sure nothing's going to... No, I should have guessed it. You know. I'm not going to get this right, am I? Because it's a bit... 
I didn't think it might be the bloody USB. Directly into the socket there. And now this USB is directly on the on the socket. Instead of going to my computer. Oh, that sort of came on and went off, didn't it? With a little pop. Came on and went off with a little pop. Is there anything that I've missed? I suppose I should go over it all again. I'm just going to leave it one little, one little more go like that in case it does it again. Okay, we got some sort of function. Now I'm going to try putting the battery in in case it's one of these things that needs to be run with the battery in. And see if it works then. I've disconnected it from the power, so let me put in the battery in. Shouldn't affect that at all. Let's try it again. Okay. So this little sound blaster wanted uh, the battery in as well. Okay, that's quite cute. That's quite cute. That's, that is quite cute. Because uh, I've got no idea what any of these uh, the functions and stuff do just yet. Twenty-five C. Oh, that's the temperature. Excellent. And it's twenty twelve. Well, it's got the wrong time, but how's it supposed to know the time? I've not told it yet. Let me turn off this soldering iron just so I don't uh, won't use any energy that I don't need to. And two, that me tip. Okay. Well. You can safely say that that works. It reads the temperature. It probably is about 25 degrees in it. So, um, or it might that might be being a bit generous. It's an hour or so out, but I need to set the time. Uh, maybe that's the time. I have to figure that one out. That could be the alarm. That could be now. It's actually clocked up a minute, hasn't it? So I presume that is the time. So I wonder if it does this continuously. I mean, I need to uh, look through those functions and. Oh, that would be the date, would it? 20th of the 12th. <clears throat> okay, yeah, that would be the time, because it's flashing in the little the little thing is flashing. I prefer it to just stay on that, but... Oh, that's pretty cool, too. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, I like that. I like that. I'm going to get another one of those and build another one. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll... I'll give them to my, my, my grandsons for their rooms. Maybe I can, um, in actual fact, you know, I reckon I can probably present this to my daughters and say, make little frames. Um, you need some sort of material that you can see through. Yeah, so you can see all this going on, but it helps dull out the rest of it and have it sat inside a little frame. They were asking me if there was something that I could, you know, make for the for the bedrooms of the grand grandchildren because they're still babies, and I couldn't think of anything really that they can have apart from like a nightlight type thing. This could be ideal. Maybe they don't need a temperature gauge, but so it would just be on the time or whatever. But and I know that these buttons on the back do other things. Okay, well. There might be a bit of a dodgy connection there or something. Yeah, there is. So I probably need to do a little bit more solder work on the back there. Or it could be this. But I'll check my connections here first. I may have been a bit light on the solder. But I will, um, I will rectify that. Because it does seem to be... I get a little pull there, a little push there. Doesn't want to work. That's not so good. Okay, so let's just take that off and mode plus RST reset. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna resolder this and yeah, but just on the on the on the on the you know. It works, and so I'm going to give it a thumbs up. There we go. 
cheers for watching guys I'll probably do one on all the nodes and stuff but yeah that's pretty good bye y'all nice cut ah uh.